welcome all. Uh, we're just going to dive in. I have a few songs that we could we could start with. Just to get warmed up, we're going to transcribe all of these in C minor. There's going to be chords and melody. And the first song, just a simple song, is going to be the riff from Linkin Park, uh, In The End. Uh, just because it's a simple song that uses some common shapes. Yeah, okay, so some people already know this riff, but don't look at the comments if, if you want to do this on your own. So to start with, I'm going to play the, the melody. We're going to focus on the melody first, and then we'll do the chords second. So we're in the key. Of C minor, I want you to come up with a theory as to which notes I'm playing in the melody. So first of all, I'll just play it a few times. So let's tackle the first interval. Tell me what interval that is. It starts with one thing. That's right, Grace. Da, da. So you could tr you could tackle this interval on its own with just two notes. Da, da. But the way I tend to do it is I tend to bridge the gap between the two notes. Da, 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 da. So here, yes, it's a fifth, and I did it by singing a minor triad. Da, 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 da. Because we know that a minor triad makes a fifth. The bottom note to the top note is going to be a fifth. So our first interval is a fifth. How about the second note? Da, 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 da. Exactly, it's some sort of third. So, so within the fifth. Actually, can you can you hear? It's basically just a minor triad. So, this melody starts on the root, which is C, goes up a fifth to which note? That's correct to G, and comes down to the minor third which is E flat. Yes, it's just arpeggiating the one chord, which is C minor within our key. C, G, G, E flat. How about this note? So E flat. Yes, it's a D. Can you hear that it goes down a half step? And the other thing about this is that if we have a... Th because to begin with, it's just a theory that we think it starts on the root, going up to the fifth, going down to the minor third. And then when we hear that there's a half step here, which would be E flat, going to D... Well, that confirms that our theory is probably correct because there's a half step just where we know there should be a half step within the minor scale. So at this point, we've become quite certain that we have the right notes. C, G, G, E flat, D, 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 E flat. And then it's just repeated notes from there. So we have the melody down. Now let's switch our focus to the chords. What would be a logical guess for the first chord? If we're in C minor, which chord do you think we're going to start on? Well, it's very normal for music to start on the one chord of the scale. So yes, uh, my, Milo or Milos C minor is correct. And this is very normal for music that's in the minor scale. It's often it's going to start on the minor one chord. So if we know that this first chord is C minor, that means that the bass note is going to be the root of the chord, which is C. So 
the way we're going to transcribe this chord progression is by listening to the bass line. Don't worry so much about the chords above, just focus on the bass note. Can you tell me which bass notes I'm playing in this chord progression? that it's just going down in step, going down and coming back up in step. So what are these bass notes? This is a C, goes to which note? You've got it. So it's C, B flat, A flat, B flat. So we have now from these bass notes, we can figure out what the chords are above. So these are gonna be the root notes of the chords above. C is going to be C minor. And how do we know if it's a major or a minor chord? Well, it just depends on the chords that are found within our key of C minor. So the one chord, if we build a stack of thirds from C and we stay within the notes of C minor scale, it's gonna give us an E flat and a G, which is gonna be a minor chord. Let's do the same for B flat. Is it going to be a B flat major or a B flat minor chord? Stack of thirds within our key. It's going to give us D natural and F natural. That's going to be a major chord. Yes, angel. Exactly, spot on. Now let's do the same for A flat. A flat up a third within C minor scale. It's going to be C. E flat that's going to be A flat major. So those are our chords and then we have a repeat of the B flat major. What do you get repeated chords just like melody? And now we've transcribed the whole thing. So we have the chord progression which is C minor, B flat major, A flat major and B flat major. How's it going guys? Julian Brady here. I hope you're enjoying these ear training lessons. Now if you'd like to go more in depth into ear training, I'd like to invite you to sign up for my free video series on ear training. You can sign up for free over at my website which is themusicalear.com and in this series I'll show you how my fixed key learning method works. So I'll show you how to line up songs in the same key so that you can spot the recurring shapes and chord progressions. I'll also show you how to transcribe a song by ear the right way and a little tip, it's not using your instrument because your instrument stops your brain from actually having to work. And we'll look at interval recognition and I'll show you the six priority intervals that you have to learn to play most songs by ear. So you can sign up for free at themusicalear.com or just click on the link in the description.